हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम टू द चैनल नो कंपनी इज बिहाइंड दिस एलएलएम मैनी एट द मोमेंट आईबीएम साइलेंटली बट श्योरली इज चेकिंग अलोंग व्हेन इट कम्स टू इट्स ग्रेनाइट फैमिली ऑफ मॉडल्स आई ऑलरेडी हैव कवर्ड द प्रीवियस वर्जन ऑफ दिस ग्रेनाइट फैमिली एंड इट इज़ नॉट बैड एट ऑल आई बी एम इज पुटिंग रियल एफर्ट इन देयर एल एल एम्स एंड रिसेंटली और रादर शुड आई से दैट फ्यू आवर्स अगो आई बी एम हैज़ रिलीज दिस ग्रे नाइट थ्री मॉडल्स इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू इंस्टॉल दैम लोकली एंड देन वी विल टेस्ट दैम आउट इन वेरियस बेंच मार्क्स आई विल बी यूजिंग ओ लामा इन ऑर्डर टू गेट दीज मॉडल्स इंस्टॉल्ड एंड आई विल बी यूजिंग द जी यू आई विद द हेल्प ऑफ दिस ओपन वेब यू आई If you don't know what Olama is or Open Web UI is, please go to my channel. Just search it with Open Web UI and watch this first video, and that should give you a fairly good idea as what these two are and how to install them. Before I move forward and we install these Granite models on our local system, let me give a huge shout out to Mast Compute who are sponsoring the VM and GPU for this video. If you are looking to rent a GPU on good prices, I will drop the link to their website in video's description. Plus, I am also going to give you a coupon code of fifty percent discount on range of GPUs. So do check them out. Okay, so let me give you a bit of a background and overview of this newly released Granite model, and then we are going to install them. So this Granite three language models are a new set of lightweight, state-of-the-art open foundation models that natively support multilinguality, coding, reasoning, and tool usage, including the potential to be run on constrained compute resources, or in other words, on edge devices or mobile devices. All the models are publicly released under Apache two license for both research and commercial use. And just pause a bit. and think about it ibm has released an apache 2 license for both research and commercial use this is the beauty of this new era if you are aware of ibm's uh, mainframes ibm's cobol ibm's db2 databases and all of those stuff then you can appreciate what i'm saying here anyway the models data curation and training procedure were designed for enterprise usage and customization in mind with a process that evaluates data set for governance risk and compliance criteria or in other words grc criteria ibm has a very good standardized clearance process and document quality checks which shines through these models granite 3 family includes four different models of different sizes first they have these dense models where all the um parameters are activated so they come in 2 billion and 8 billion parameter sizes and they have been trained on 12 trillion tokens in total then they have two mixture of expert models which are sparse models 1 billion and 3 billion with 400 million and 800 million activated parameters respectively and this has been trained on 10 trillion tokens in total accordingly both of these options provide a range of models with different compute requirements to choose from with of course appropriate trade offs with their performance on downstream tasks they have a base model they have a fine tuned model which is fine tuned for dialog instruction following it helpfulness and safety so enough theory let's go and try to get these installed for that let me first show you olama's website go there click on models on top right and simply search with granite and you will see that we have this granite 3 dense granite 3 mixture of expert so i think i'm just going to go with this granite 3 mixture of expert so i'm clicking here and you see we have this 1 billion and 3 billion i'm going to go with 3 billion in this case i'm just going to copy this tag now if you want to just run it in olama cli simply copy whole command but i just need this model and its tag name so i'm just going to grab this full model and then i'm going to go in open web ui which is a gui as i said if you don't know what that is please search my channel on the top right click on admin panel click on settings here and then click on models olama is already running and configure on my system 
so i'm just going to put the tag here and click on this download button on the right hand side and you can see that model is now down um, it is being downloaded so let's wait for it it is going to give you a pop-up once it is done downloading it and model is 100% downloaded and now it is verifying its checksum shouldn't take too long now it's not a big model just a 3 billion one and if you just have very low vram and you don't have even vram you don't have gpu you can simply go with the cpu or 1 billion and even in 1 billion you can go with a quantized format simply go to the olama select 1 billion here and if you don't like even 1 billion one which is a just 800 and 22 MB then you can click on view more and then you can see there are even lesser um, just Q2 512 don't go with it quality will be terrible at least go with Q4 KM that gives you a good balance anyway so we already have downloaded our model as you can see the model is all good here let's click on top left here in chat I can select our model from here so you see I have this granite 3 let's select it and now let's try to use it out so first up i'm just asking it consider the following scenario john a man with an extensive criminal history um, finds some money on his way home and then i'm asking it that upon opening the wallet he finds several hundred dollar bills what will john do so what is more probable john pockets some money or John attempts to return the money. So let's run it and see what model tells us. Okay, what happened here? Maybe it is, let me check. Maybe it is too big for it. I don't think so. So when that happens, it could mean only two things. First, either Olama is not running or Olama um, is running on a very very old version so what do we do here all we need to do is to first check if olama is running or not so let me open a new window here and then i'm just going to say olama list so it means olama is running our model is there so, so that is cool and then it means that it could be the version so and we can confirm it so just run olama run gray knight 3 dash moe and colon 3 billion there you go so it says llama runner process has terminated this model is not supported by your version of olama so we need to upgrade it now let me quickly uh, upgrade it let me clear the screen also if you want to upgrade it just go here on my channel and then type upgrade or maybe something like olama upgrade and you can find this video so if you want to upgrade it just run this and you should be able to do it so let me upgrade the olama and rerun it so i have upgraded the olama version let's try to run that granite again and there you go it is running on olama that is all good but we don't want to run it we just want to run it in our open web ui so i have already selected it refresh the page and then let's run it again the same question there you go see how quick that is now the answer here is that John's actions are more likely to be unethical and illegal. He has found someone else's property which he can claim as his own if he chooses to keep it. This is known as larceny or theft. If he decides to return the money, he might still face charges for attempting to permanently deprive the owner of this. Okay. Second, I'm not sure what he's saying. So you can talk with the model, but he just found it. And if he returns it, how could he be charged? There you go. So now it is much, much better. So you can chat with the model. Looks quite good. Okay, let's try out another one. I'm asking it. I'm very upset. Write an angry email to my wife, letting, letting him know that I will stay out tonight in nightclub and justify my actions. Let's see if what it, the model does here. I have on purpose put him here. So let's see. 
dear wife's name. <laughs> Look at that. It's saying I'm writing to address the recent events that have taken place between myself and okay. So you see, it is just carry on with the other ones. So in that case, it has gone with the John. This is an issue with open web UI. So in that case, I'm just going to open the new chat and then paste it here again. And I'm just going to select the model again and rerun it. Let's see what happens now. Yeah, not much better. So it says, I hope this message finds you well. I'm writing to express my disappointment with the recent events that have led to my decision to stay out tonight at a nightclub. Firstly, I would like to apologize for misunderstanding the situation that had to involve the professional dilemma. Okay, very, very diplomatic. So you can't really, really tell what is happening, but still uh, it has given a very diplomatic answer here. Okay, let's check out if the model is censored or not. So I'm asking it. Maybe I'll just open a new chat. It's a bit cumbersome, but let's do it. And then, sorry, I'm just going to ask it. Tell me how to break into my own car as I have lost the car key. So it says I cannot assist with any illegal activities. Very censored, as is the case with a lot of the IBM models. Okay, let's try out its math capabilities. For the math one, sorry, I'm just going to paste it here my math equation let's run it okay i need to select the model okay so my let's paste it now hopefully this time it is going to give us the answer for well, the answer is totally wrong the ans correct answer is 20. okay let's see if it can solve this equation so english is quite good reasoning is okay quite good but math so far seems bit off yeah no math is not good enough for me okay so no problem let's uh, try out maybe another reasoning question or maybe we'll go with that multilingual one bit a harder one because they say that it is inherently multilingual so i'm just going to open a new chat and then select the model and then give this multilingual chat here so here the scenario is, some, is something like a spanish speaking customer carlos is visiting a japanese restaurant in the us he asks the waiter what do you recommend in spanish the waiter who is familiar with spanish recommends the sushi combo and then it is just talking about in sushi so towards the end i'm asking the model i'm just going to remove this to i don't want to give any hint to the model so i am asking it how would you as a waiter respond to Carlos taking into account cultural nuances and languages differences? So I am going to run it and while it gives us a response, let me introduce you to the sponsors of this video who are Agent QL. Agent QL is a query language that turns any web page into a data source. Agent QL is quite resilient, reusable and it structures output according to the shape of your query. Agent QL is a robust alternative to Fragile XPath and DOM selector as it uses the power of AI to analyze the page structure to find the data you are looking for. And I will drop the link to their website in video's description. So do check them out, please. Okay, so let's go back to our here. Okay, so you see, there you go. So firstly, it's important to acknowledge Carlos' interest in trying something new. You could say something like in Spanish, and then it is just also translating it next you could offer to bring him a small amount of wasabi as a sample this would be a polite way to introduce the idea without overwhelming him and then again spanish if carlos expresses interest in trying the wasabi throughout the conversation it's important to maintain a friendly and approachable tone very nice very very nice okay let's try out um, another one which is quite common so I'll just go with a new chat and then select the model and then I'm asking it uh, break the word strawberry into a list of letters count the number of occurrences of the character R in that list three times you see it uh, got it wrong okay let's uh, try out some of the coding questions now so for coding questions I'm just going to ask it Maybe I'm selecting the model here 
and then for coding i'm just asking it to translate this python function into javascript so let's run it okay so if i just simply go up yep that looks really cool and then it has also given us the summary of what it has done very nice okay next up let's see if it can identify and fix the issue in this python function yes totally correct so it has even fixed the issue there let's see if it can write the full code so i'm just asking it to write me a python code for a mental broad set which is a geometrical problem yep matplotlib awesome stuff beautiful so if i quickly go through this code this looks spot on very nice yeah i think it would also be cool that if it uh, gives us some sort of um, sample run but that is fine other than that i think looks really cool so all in all very impressive model uh, this mixture of expert and i'm more than sure the other ones will be good too i will drop the link to the model card in video description play around with it let me know what you think if you like the content please consider subscribing to the channel if you're already subscribed please share it among your network as it helps a lot thank you for watching